Hey, party people, welcome back to another episode of Daily Dose of Isaac Baby. Monday, Tuesday, when, what day is it? Tuesday, the 1st of December edition. Oh shit, dude, I didn't even realise. I thought it was 31 days in November. So, that's incredible. Uh, Merry Christmas, by the way, I need to change my Twitter name. Um, nothing lasts forever, even cold November Reese. Because I need to change it, I need to put my Christmas name on. I didn't even realise, dude. I honestly thought there was 31 days in November. That's both... Uh, equal parts exciting and also terrifying because I still have gifts that I need to buy and I only have 24 more days um, So I need to do that. Okay. Well, how, why am I now nervous? I've just I've just started so I, before I even start I just want to say uh, if it sounds like I've just woken up from a nap um, That would be because I've just woken up from a nap, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get into today So I'm gonna try and inject some spice into it. I have some some things to talk about I have not one anecdote, but two anecdotes to tell my guy pretty like a girl, and he got two stories to tell. It's not quite five, but it'll do. Uh, we got a poly on to Mother's Heart today. Becco's done it. So I'm aiming to beat 1600, smiling him. Uh, what happened yesterday? I have seen uh, most of these yesterday. Oh shit, I beat Becco. I thought Becco would have beat me. No, I'm not, not that. This isn't meant to be taken as BM, and I barely beat him. <laughs> Um, but he was talking in the Discord, and I was like, ah, shit, that's another person that's beat me. Yeah, so th 3,300 on um, a, a, a one run. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate. Um, so, so not ideal, but we'll take it. We'll take it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Again, 3,300, yeah, it's not great, but at least we're still around the 2,000 range. So if we can get around 2,000 today, that'd be pretty good. As I said, I did see most of these, these runs yesterday because I, I for once, was a, a good enough run to actually watch my, my boys' runs on the day they came out, which is something I've been very bad at recently. Uh, so I apologise, but there you go, there you go. Uh, so we got Mom's Heart. Hopefully this lasts for more than, like, ten seconds because, as I said, I have a... Okay, I need to move my cursor. I do need to move my cursor right now. Uh, I do have... It's because I, I had to click the record and then click back in the on the screen. Um, we had this Tuesday. I hope everyone had a nice Monday night. I just played Genshin for about eight hours straight. Um, for so long, in fact. And I'd been playing for a couple hours. Uh, Spin came on and played for for a couple hours, and then was like, "Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off, and I'll maybe be back on later." And I went, "Sounds good." And then she came back on like uh, four hours later, and the first thing she said is, uh, "WTF? Are you still doing on? Have you even logged off?" <laughs> I had not logged off. In my defense, it did crash so bad at one point that I had to restart my whole PC, um, which takes about half an hour. So I technically did log off for like half an hour. Um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Genshin. I've been trying to grind to, to catch up with my friends. So I've been like, I've been a little bit obsessed over the past few days in an effort to catch up with the rest of the gang. Um, we do buttons on dailies. We do buttons on dailies. Uh, so by the way, this is like a joke, and I'm obviously not taking that. Even even for sucking purposes, we don't touch that. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. We do do this though. Not great. Not great for us, to be honest. I've been having fun. I finally learned what artifact. I'm not going to dwell on Genshin too much because I know there are some people watching this that might not be into Genshin. Namely Josh, and uh, I know that Josh is not into Genshin, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, want to cover things with the whole family. We'll get the Genshin bit out of the way, so so all my, my Genshin fans in chat can, can get their pogs off. Then we'll talk about some other stuff. As I said, I have some anecdotes today, so uh, uh, bear with me, bear with me. We'll get there. Well, Genshin's fun, because I learned about artifacts. I put artifacts on, and now all of a sudden my, my characters actually do some reasonable damage. I started using Noel because it, my game has gotten so laggy that it's hard to aim with Amber. Um, so I've started using <laughs> melee characters where it auto aims for you, so the frame rate doesn't matter because I can just mash click. Uh, and the game was the rest of the work, and it's really nice because she actually. Oh, speaking of lag. Speaking of lag. Speaking of lag. The binding of Asgard to Earth Plus is not responding. Um, so I'll just keep. To okay, there we go. There we go. Speaking of lag. <laughs> A little heart, heart, heart and mouth moment there because if, if the game crashes on the daily, you just kind of get the score you get given, which is rather unfortunate. <laughs> um, thankfully, that was not the case. Um, yeah, so I kind of become a bit of a, a Noel main, uh, who is the maid character, so probably like one of the most like waifu ish characters in Breath of the Waifu. Look, 
Amber is still my favourite and will always be my favourite. Um, I, I, I am still very fond of Amber. Um, and we're not going to dwell on that sentence too much because uh, I got called out yesterday. I got exposed yesterday, um, and I haven't stopped thinking about it since. What? What's? What's? What's going on? Welcome back to the second floor. Um, so let me so let me get into my anecdote. So first of all, let me let me uh, do my do a bit that leads into this one, and then the second one uh, the second one I'll do I'll do I'll do after this one. But the second one I'm quite uh, is, 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 the first one's a little bit more entertaining. The entertainment values there, so we'll lead with this one. But the other one, especially if you are um, NSL or if you're Josh or if you're Maria, you'll like the second one. Or, or probably not, but it pertains to you. And if you're none of those people, don't worry, there'll be context. But um, let me let me do this little bit first. I've got a little bit for you. So I talked about Muse yesterday, very briefly, uh, and I was like, "Hey, what's everyone's favourite Muse song?" Um, and then I. Neat. I guess. Yeah. Does Blue Baby have more damage or anything? Is it, is that worth? Is that is that something that's worth doing now? I know that on dailies the Ankh can be used in in really um, interesting and, and mysterious ways. I don't really know. So I can use it on like a, I could use it to get a devil deal I wouldn't otherwise be able to get. I could use it on a self-sacrifice room to hit a couple times. I can't remember if, if Blue Baby has, Blue Baby has slightly higher damage than, than 3.5, right? Blue Baby starts with more than 3.5, so maybe that's worth it? I don't know. I might just use it as a backup, to be honest. I might just use it as a bit of a safety net to be like, hey, if I die on this run, at least I'll have another chance. So I think I'll, I think I'll just do that. Uh, and first of all, Muse didn't give them enough credit. They have some absolute bangers. Um, Supermassive Black Hole, How Could I Forget, is a great song. I didn't even mention it yesterday. Um, Hysteria? How did I forget? And that one, Supermassive Black Hole, when that came on, on Spotify, I was like, oh shit, how did I forget this? Hysteria wasn't even in my brain. Dude, what a banger, by the way. Um... And then Time Is Running Out came on, and I, I, I first of all, I've concluded that I, I do think that Muse's Time Is Running Out is better than Papa Roach's Time Is Running Out. Um, There's not to say that Papa Roach's isn't also a, a slapper, because I do believe that it is. However, I think Papa Roach's is just like, it's a bit of a bop. Um, Muse's is like, pff, that's a good song. Papa Roach's is like, maybe top 10, Muse's is definitely top 5. Um, but then I was listening to Papa Roach, um, uh, and what reminded me is, uh, I was thinking of Time for Annihilation, which is, for anyone who doesn't know their, their live album, it has like five uh, new tracks on it, original tracks, and then it has like ten live tracks on it. Um, by the way, great live album. I like a good live album every now and then. There aren't many live albums that I'd listen to over like the original songs. Um, Time for Annihilation. Okay, so obviously yes. Obviously yes. We die here. Do we get kicked out? We do. So I'm going to lose the void, and that's fine. We do get... Oh, it's a tiny damage up. I'm tempted for spun purposes, because we're so early, but like... Oh, God, it's not going to do much for me. My shot speed's already quite high. I'll probably end up taking it anyway. Okay, we don't do pills on dailies. But that's one of those ones, like, there are songs on that album that I, I would, like, sooner listen to the, the, the live version than the, the real version. Forever's a great song, I, I, I really like that song, but the live version on Time for Annihilation, man, is so good. It's got, like, a, a three-minute guitar lead-in. Ooh! Great version. Anyway, so here's my anecdote. You'll like this. This is a funny one. Uh, not so much on my part. A little bit embarrassing on my part, but I was like, you know what? This is, let, me, let me talk about this one on Isaac. This is a funny anecdote. So, um... Back in uh, uh, year seven, which is, I believe, eighth grade, uh, I would have been around 10 years of age when this happened. Uh, back in year seven, um, I had a crush on a girl, as 10-year-old um, boys tend to get, and 21-year-old boys. Am I right, time stampers? <laughs> time stampers, am I right? Um, I had a crush on a girl, and look, I was 10 years old, it happens, you, you, you don't know what you're doing as a 10 year old, I, I, look, I don't know what I'm doing now, 10 year olds, they be wiling, they be wiling, 
Um, so what I did was um, I got the girl's number, which uh, first of all, good job, Reese. I, I have I've never even done that as an adult before. <laughs> So, I mean, that's uh, if, if, if there's highlights and lowlights to this stories, and don't get me wrong, this story, the whole thing is a lowlight, that's at least somewhat of a highlight. Um, to be fair, I've never tried to do that as an adult. Um, but there you go, so I did that, I got her number. Now, what, what do you think a 10 year old um, texts his crush? Uh, when he has a number, you'd think uh, maybe like a maybe a hey, maybe a, a w u u u two, perhaps. So so what I actually did was I texted uh, um, song lyrics uh, to Papa Roach's uh, song No Matter What. For anyone who isn't familiar with No Matter What, which I would hope would be uh, pretty much all of you, <laughs> um, those lyrics go uh, No matter what, I'd have your back. I'd take a bullet for you if it comes to that. <laughs> so, look, my tone isn't my storytelling tone isn't great right now. My look, my my voice, as I said, I'm fresh off off of a nap, so I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no matter what, I, I I'll have your back. I'd take a bullet for you if it comes to that. Uh, I texted that on like a Saturday evening. Was worried about it for a couple hours. Got no response and went, okay, she didn't read it. That's fine. Uh, go to school Sunday. <laughs> Uh, not Sunday, that'd be weird. Oh, oh, well, I did go to religious school. No, I went to a religious private school. My second school wasn't religious, so actually that would be a little bit weird if I went in on a Sunday. Uh, going to school on Monday? Um, yeah, so she told, like, everyone, like, the entire school. I basically spent, for, like, a week straight, people would just stop me in the corridors and, like, quote that song. Uh, and I wanted to die, basically. Um... I didn't handle that very, very well, so that's that story. That's that, that, that. That's how that goes. Look, I, 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 I mean, it was a long time ago, um, uh, and I've never spoken to a girl since. I only text romantic song lyrics to my boys now. Yeah, it's just something. It's just I just remember that happening and it being like probably the the, the biggest mistake of my young of my young life <laughs> up to that point. Uh, and to be honest, maybe still is the biggest mistake I've ever made. <laughs> you come to think of it, that's probably not true. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, I have no regrets in life. That's definitely one of them, though. That's definitely one of them. <laughs> it definitely wasn't my, my finest moment. Oh, I couldn't walk for a second there. A little bit of a haggle as. Okay, yep, don't like this. Don't like this at all. And look, I'm so glad that I am so much more, um, you know, m m uh, m m mature and wise to those types of situations now that I would never, ever in that sort of situation do anything in in embarrassing, embarrassing now. I would only, I would never, I handle those situations so much better. Not that I'm in any, any, any situation even remotely like that. Can you tell that I'm still thinking about... About what I said yesterday? Can you tell? Can you tell it's? Can you tell it's on my mind? No. On my on my mind? No. Time stampers? Can you tell? Uh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. These are the worst enemies in the game. There's no enemy in this game that is worse than this one. There's no enemy. You can't convince me. This is the worst enemy in the game. It's the worst enemy. It's it's just such a bad. Like it doesn't make sense. And you shouldn't be allowed to put five of them in one room. That should be illegal. I'm not going to last much longer on this run. I know I said that, like, the entirety of the last run and then it ended up being an hour and ten minutes long. This is a two-pump jumper. Ooh. Okay. Just keep your eyes open. Keep your ears peeled. Um, hang on, I'm just checking my, my little... My, my, my memo here, because I've, I've forgotten my other story. Time is running out. Oh shit, of course. Yeah, so it's just because um, NSL said in his video yesterday he has a little notepad document with, with like, with stuff to talk about in his videos. I didn't see the fucking creep, dude. Holy shit. Um, I, I write them down in memos. But the problem is I write down a million billion things in memos. So even if I write them in there, it basically means nothing. They're lost forever, <laughs> basically. Just because I, I write so many things in, in phone memos. I have, like, actually thousands of them. Okay. I could get another one. That would be fucking great. Okay, thank you, dude. I'll take it. There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so I, I now have one memo that I'm just gonna write all my bits in. 
I should have a notepad document because the film memories are just going to get lost. I write so many of them, they're just going to drown. Um, so here's a story. And, and, and okay, before I even get into this, it, it's going to start with football. Put your, no, 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 no. Put your resident sleepers away. Type them out. Type them in the box. Don't hit enter, I promise. It's going to start with football, but I promise it's going somewhere. Especially if you're you're one of Josh and Maria um, or NSL and are privy to a conversation we had the other day. If you're not, again, there'll be context. Don't worry. I promise there's a punchline. It, it, it's not a comedic punchline, like me texting Papa Roach uh, love song lyrics to my crush. It's not like that. It's um, it's it's it's, but it, but I promise it's going somewhere. I promise it's going somewhere, and it's not just ooh Spurs played last night. Here's how the game went, and here's how this is. No one cares about that. You guys don't care about that. I I care very much so, which is why I talk about it, even though I know that it's not you know, the best thing to talk about in these Isaac videos because there's no one, there's no one watching who's interested. But look, this one's going somewhere. I promise. Right. So let me give you some context. Um. There's a competition in, in English football called the FA Cup, uh, the Football Association Cup. Um, it's been running for like stupid long, like 140 years or something ridiculous. Now what's great about the FA Cup is any, any team that exists in England can apply to play in the FA Cup. And I mean any team from like the, the, the top teams in the country, uh, way down to, to literally like, oh, you and you know, 15, 16 of, you, of your work colleagues have a Sunday League team, you can apply to play in the FA Cup. Uh, and what's great about it is, you know, the Sunday League teams never get very far. Um, the, there's basically the, the, the first round proper of the competition, and then before the, the, the first round, there is um, a, a fuck ton of uh, preliminary rounds, obviously depending on how many teams up and down the country sign up that year. Um, so there's a bunch of pre preliminary rounds to qualify for the main competition. He's spawning so much, holy shit, I can't even like get to him, he's spawning too much. Dude, slow down, Jesus! I do it, what, are you kidding? Slow the fuck down, dude! I, he's spawning too much! He's spa I can't keep up with it, he's spawning so much, man. Dude, I hate to you do it, I'm gonna have to use bomb. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. Okay, it, it did hit him, it did hit him. He's spawning, this is ridiculous. I've never seen him spawn this much. This is, ins this is insane. And this guy doesn't kill them like Chubb does, which is a, a little bit unfair, in my humble opinion. This is, this is nuts. This is, oh my god, that was wild. What a wacky and wild, fuck off, <laughs> really? <laughs> what a wacky and wild and kooky boss fight, that's useless to me. Dude, just go down to the next floor, dude. Just take the easy points. Honestly, this is gonna be a bad one again. Um, so, so they'll have preliminary rounds, and then by the time you get to round one of the competition, so that there's there's, um, there's there's the league, so there's the, the there's the football pyramid, basically. There's, there are the actual leagues. Are you kidding me? How the hell did I not kill those stupid flies before they hit me? I was so confident. I didn't even move! Because I was so confident, I would just—they'd just be dead before they got to me. I'm fucked, dude. I'm fucked. Like I'm just not doing enough damage, and they keep getting these rooms where it's enemies that spawn things, and I just like—I'm not killing the things that they spawn quickly enough to get to them. They're just these enemies are spawning too much. No, this is such a great anecdote, man. I really, I really want to tell this story, and I'm just not going to have the time to do it. They're spawning too much. I can't kill these enemies this quickly. Dude, this game, ever since that day that I said that I don't get tilted, this game has done everything in its power to make me just, like, never want to play it again. Well, I didn't even see it. I didn't see that guy. I thought he was dead. Dude, I just, like, I just, this, I, I, I I could I I I I I didn't even see the the one that killed me. I didn't even I didn't even see. I didn't even see that he was there. I I knew that he was there because I was shooting at him, and in my head he was dead. I'd registered that he was dead. He was dead. I'd killed him, and and then he just hit me. I didn't even see him. I didn't even process that he was still there. Like I just. Fucking hell, man. Like, what's the point? 
Because I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get bullied again. I'm gonna get bullied again. I, I had so many fucking stories to tell today. You know, fuck it, dude. I'm telling this. I had other, I had, I had other stories. I had other stories I was gonna tell, um, similar to the 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 high school story, the embarrassing high school crush story. I had like two more of the similar stories I was gonna tell. Maybe I'll tell them tomorrow. I don't know, dude. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm pissed. I'm, I'm, Look, uh, let me tell my FA Cup story because I'm pissed off and I want to tell it. I've, I have my heart set on telling this story. Um, so there's the FA Cup. We do the, 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 the there's there's four leagues. There's the, the Premier League and then there's the Championship and then there's League One and there's two one. The first round of the FA Cup, the first round proper, is when the League Two and League One sides join in, uh, and then the third round is when the, the Premier League and the Championship sides join in. The big boys join in. So for any non-league teams, anyone below League Two, they're referred to as non-league teams. To get through to as far as the third round, where they have to pretend the potential to draw a Premier League team, um, usually you'll only get like three, four, five of those teams that get that far in the competition, um, because they have to get past like League Two and League One teams that have like you know bigger stadiums, bigger fan bases. They have like TV packages, so they get TV license money, which non-league doesn't get. Uh, this year there are five non-league teams. The lowest ranks of which uh, is a team called Candy Island, the second lowest ranked of which is a team called Marine AFC, Marine Athletic Football Club. The highest ranked team in the entire competition right now, so basically every team in the entire country, um, of which there are hundreds, uh, the highest ranked of every single one of them, Tottenham Hotspur. We're currently top of the Premier League, so we're currently, um, and these games, the first, these games will be played on the weekend of January the 9th. So we probably won't still be top of the league at that point. But at least at the time of the draw last night, uh, we're top of the league. So we are the, the top ranked team. Guess who we got drawn? Marine AFC. Now, I promise this is going somewhere. First of all, incredible anyway. It's it's the highest gap between two teams playing each other in, in the history of the competition. In like 130, 140 years, something stupid. There's never been a higher gap. In terms of seeding, Marine AFC plays in the eighth tier of football. Imagine you've got the NHL, the National Hockey League, and then you know you have the AHL, the American Hockey League, which are the, their affiliates. Um, and then you have junior hockey. Imagine if like relegation and promotion existed, and the NHL was the top tier, and then the AHL was the second tier. Now imagine a third, and now a fourth, and now a fifth, and now a sixth, and now a seventh, and now an eighth. And you've currently got Tottenham Hotspur, who is at the very, very top of the pyramid, playing a team in, in the 8th division and low down in the 8th division. So first of all, incredible. Um, their ground is so small, it seats like 100 people. And there's like, there's people's back gardens that back onto the side of the pitch. Like there's houses that are attached to the side of the pitch because it's it looks like, it's like deep in the suburbs and it looks like they've just carved out like, a spot for to just like fit a football pitch in it's barely even a ground it's just like a pitch with like two benches and like one row of seats like it's tiny uh, and we will offer them the opportunity to play at our stadium we have a, a, a brand new stadium it's only a year and a half old so it's like it's one of the best stadiums in it, it definitely in world football but maybe in in sports at all i would say fresh new billion dollar stadium is it's truly is a, a marvel so we'll probably offer them the opportunity if they so wish to um, come play at our stadium just for, for the experience and also they'd get more um, ticket money that way because more fans would be able to get in. Um, but of course, it's already like the magic of the cup. It's, 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 it's a great thing that this team is going to get like thousands and thousands of pounds um, from just from playing this game, even if they get their asses kicked. They're going to get so much money that's going to be able to keep them like, it's going to give them financial stability for, for I mean, literal years to come just to be able to play a game like this, whether it's at their ground or whether they, which it's supposed to be at, because that's where it was drawn at, um, or if they, they acquiesce to come and play at our ground. Truly an incredible experience. History-making game, right? Now, what's crazy about this, um, we had a conversation the other night, and it started because we were debating, and I'm not going to go into this because uh, we're already vastly overrun on this video. Um, so I'll, I'll save this discussion, or maybe I won't go into it at all now, because I feel like we've, we've covered the ground. Uh, we were having the conversation, there's a saying which I know to be, pink sky at night, fisherman's delight, pink sky in the morning, fisherman's warning. Apparently some people say red sky, some people say orange sky, uh, some people say sailor's delight, sailor's morning, some people say shepherd's delight. And we were discussing, the which colour do you say? 
Which which um, which job title do you say? I'm personally on the the pink sky at night train, um, although I could act to orange for personal reasons. Uh, red has no chance. Um, but we were having that conversation, and Maria was like, "Well, I don't want to commit too much to this conversation because I don't live anywhere near the water." And I was like, "Okay, well, I live in the middle of the country. I also don't live anywhere near the water." So Maria googled how close to the water I was. Turns out I'm only 52 minutes away, not that far. In my head, uh, okay, we're a thin country. She she also made the point that anywhere in the UK isn't that far from the water. She's not wrong. In my head, 52 minutes is still far to go. But then, if you think of, like, if you put it in perspective to the middle of America, which is, like, eight hours, maybe more, to drive to the water. Yeah, okay, I get it, fair enough. Uh, but she, she put it, and then she put it, she put a screenshot in the chat, and was, like, showing it. And, and I guess she just Googled, like, how far is Manchester to the sea, or something like that. And, and Google just, like, put Manchester, and then just sent it to, like, a random place at the sea, or, like whatever it thought was the like the closest town that was a seaside town that was closest to Manchester because what because it sent it, it, the, the 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 route it showed sent to a place called Crosby and I was like a, a little seaside town called Crosby never heard of it in my entire life basically didn't think much more of it the next night we draw marine AFC in the cup I go I'm like I've never heard of marine AFC before most clubs in England are just named after named the place that they are Marine's not a place. So I'm like, hey, where's Marine AFC? You will never guess. Marine AFC is Crosby's local football club. What? What? My mind was absolutely blown. What are the odds that this tiny little seaside town that I had never heard of in my entire life gets mentioned in, in, in a group chat conversation with some of my friends? And I go, wow, I've never heard of this place. What's that about? And the, the very next day... My, my Spurs get drawn in the FA Cup against Crosby's local football club. A historic tie, no less, because as I said, the biggest gap between two teams playing each other in the history of this com competition. What are the odds, dude? And it, honestly, I don't know if this is, is, is it, and it holds anywhere near as much weight to anyone else. Independently, I mean, I want to talk about the FA Cup anyway, just because, as I said, it's, it's a history-making tie. It's such a big game um, for both of us to be, to be involved in. So I was probably going to talk about it anyway. But then, it's, when I saw that, that 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 team was from Crosby, a town that I had never ever heard of in my entire life until the night before, and then I hear about, and then the night later, Spurs draw their like little local football club, and, and they're going to be going there to play now. What are the odds? Who's heard of Crosby? No offense, Crosby, if you're from there, I appreciate you. Who the hell's heard of Crosby? What even is it, dude? It's a tiny little seaside town, and Spurs are going to be going there <laughs> to play their, 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 like, local little football team on their little field that they have wedged between a bunch of houses. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? And I was going to share it in the group chat last night, but I just couldn't think of a way to, like, concisely tell the story. And, and give enough context, but also still get to the the punchline. So I was like, you know what, I'll save it for Isaac. We'll get a long run tomorrow, probably. All the, all the runs have been long recently. Yeah, apparently not. Uh, I'm going to wrap it here. Thank you for watching. Sorry I went like 10 minutes over finishing there, but I just, I really wanted to tell that story for personal reasons. Because like I said, I don't know if that's even going to be any interesting to anyone else. But I thought that was very interesting. Like, th the odds of this town coming up in conversation and me being like, yeah, that's random. Never heard of that place before. And the next day, we draw them in the cup. The fact that they're, they've never even been this far in the cup before. The fact that they've come this far in the cup is already incredible. Because they're so low down in the league. So the fact that they've got this far is already insane. And then the odds of them drawing even any Premier League team. They could have they could have drawn Sheffield, who are currently bottom of the Premier League. And it still would have been like... that. The gap would have been that big. It would have been an incredible experience. So to draw the team top of the Premier League which just so happens to be my team, ba after the conversation we had the night before, that's wild. That's wild. Dude, I thought it was wild. I thought it was wild. I personally thought it was... I, th I personally thought it was very interesting. Look, I have some more interesting anecdotes that I'll tell tomorrow. Not more as in more anecdotes like that. Interest. I mean, anecdotes are, are more interesting than that one. Some good high school anecdotes I was going to share today that are never going to... Like, Fuck it, dude. I'll save them for tomorrow. Or I won't, actually, because it's Wednesday. So I may not be able to record. I'll see what happens. If I'm able to do tomorrow's video, 
I'll try and make it a bit more of an interesting one. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have garbage runs. Because mine was very bad. Uh, yeah, I don't want to think about today's run. Because I, I, I was trying to make up for yesterday's bad run. And then this happened. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, at the very least, it was 3,300. On a Napoleon run, you tend to get some early deaths. I'm hoping that I, I don't finish much worse than yesterday. Is my hope. And then at the very least, I still have the chance to try and... Obviously, it'll bring my average up still to, like, we'll be pushing 2,500. But at the very least, it gives me a chance to still push for the 2,000 on the rest of the week. I mean, it sucks. It honestly sucks. Because my, my overall average is around 2,400. And I'm trying to bring that down. So it sucks that it's, it's coming back up again. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I appreciate you all. And I'll see you all in the next video. Ah, bonk. Oh, I need to hit stop recording. <laughs> uh, later, guys. <laughs>